It's hard to believe that it's only been five months since I was first introduced to Atari's Recharged franchise. In that short amount of time, they've managed to revamp four of their arcade classics, including an excellent reimagining of Centipede, a so-so version of Black Widow, and a less-than-stellar take on Asteroids that left me cold. Their newest entry is Breakout Recharged, and I'm happy to say that it rights the ship and gets the retro series right back on track. That's the good news, but has Atari taken the criticism to heart and actually improved the recharged franchise for 2022? Believe it or not, the answer might surprise you. Even if you've never played the original 1976 arcade game Breakout before, you'll recognize the gameplay. Developed by Steve Wozniak, Nolan Bushnell, and of course Steve Jobs, this was one of Atari's earliest hits thanks to a simple premise that featured a bouncing ball clearing a bunch of bricks. This gameplay conceit would eventually be ripped off by Taito to create the long-running Arkanoid franchise, and even Nintendo created their own breakout clone called Alleyway for the Game Boy. Despite being so influential, Atari hasn't done much with the breakout name in recent years. That's just one of the reasons why I was so excited to see what they could do with the recharged version, especially given how much I liked Centipede and Black Widow. Bouncing a ball in an effort to break through a bunch of colorful bricks is a radical change from the shoot 'em ups that have so far been the stars of the recharged series. And I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't wait to see how they would shake up the formula and what kind of challenges they had in store for us. Now, let me tell you, I was not disappointed. As you'd expect, the gameplay is essentially a carbon copy of the 1976 arcade game. You move a paddle left and right at the bottom of the screen, bouncing a ball back up towards a bunch of bricks. If you're able to clear out of the blocks, a new pattern of bricks will show up and you'll have to start the whole process all over again. I'm sure the developers were tempted to add a bunch of new moves and abilities, but this version of Breakout works because they've largely kept the gameplay the same. Beyond just dealing with a bunch of bricks, you'll also find that some of the blocks will actually shoot back. This adds a real sense of intensity to the action as it forces us to weave through bullets while also hitting the bouncing ball. The good news is that Recharged comes with a handful of useful power-ups, including a few that were introduced in Super Breakout and other sequels and updates. On top of being able to extend the size of your paddle as well as introduce three balls into the action at once, there are also weapons that'll give you a triple shot, homing missiles, and a huge laser that'll just rip right through the bricks in a single shot. Other powers include a shield for the ball, a guide showing you where the ball is going to go next, and a time warp that'll slow down the ball as it nears the bottom of the screen. These add a fun new dynamic to the action without breaking too far from the formula that made the original so successful. Now, much like the rest of the games in the Recharged series, the real reason to buy this game is for the challenge mode. We once again get a few dozen missions to complete, each with some sort of challenge related to clearing blocks, or earning a score, or using some specific item. This is where we see a lot of the most interesting brick designs, and some of these stages are genuinely tough. This is by far the most difficult batch of challenges I've seen in this entire series, and it's all the better for it. I came away from every stage feeling like I'd actually learned something and gotten better at Breakout. What's more, it feels like it's a world away from the shoot 'em up challenges we saw in Centipede, Black Widow, and Asteroids. Breakout is exactly what the Recharged series needed. And that extends over to the arcade mode, too, which has historically been the weakest link of these reimagined classics. If you've seen any of my recharged reviews, then you've already heard me complain about the lack of options. Well, it seems that Atari has finally heard the criticism because Breakout makes a big step forward when it comes to the arcade mode. We're now able to choose games based on how many lives we want to start with and whether or not we want power-ups. Look, that may not sound like much, but it's a major leap in the right direction compared to the bare-bones package we're used to. 
I mean, they could still go a little further with background options, customizable power-ups, and so on and so forth. But at least this shows that they're actually listening to some of the criticism. I hope that this will be the standard going forward. Now, as much as I'd like to say that this is the best recharged game yet, there are a couple of faults holding the game back. The first is the widescreen display, which reshapes the play field from the original vertical display. It may not seem like much, but it does make a big difference when it comes to the speed of the action and the type of patterns that they can create. I understand why they would stick with the widescreen view, but I wish they would include more aspect ratios. Perhaps some of the levels can be wide, while others can be tall, just like the original. Check it up a little bit. And speaking of issues, I found this weird gameplay quirk where you can't hit the ball when it's flush with one of the sides of the levels. Even if the paddle is all the way to the left or the right, the ball just kind of slips through this invisible hole and sends you to the game over screen. It's really annoying, and it shouldn't be like that. There shouldn't be a dead zone in the stage. Thankfully, these minor issues don't overshadow what Breakout Recharged gets right. In almost every way, this game is a big step in the right direction, something that was desperately needed after the dismal Asteroids update. If you like bouncing balls, busting up brick walls, and dancing to catchy techno music, then Breakout is the game for you. Breakout is another great entry in Atari's Recharged franchise. By sticking to the original formula, this reimagined classic makes a strong case for why the 1976 arcade hit was so beloved back in the day. This recharged version features some of the best challenge stages of the entire series, as well as a new and improved arcade mode that has all the options that critics have been asking for. It's not perfect, and the widescreen play field changes the dynamics in some frustrating ways, the Breakout Recharged is a big step in the right direction. If this is how we're going to start 2022, then I can't wait to see what Atari has in store for us next. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What arcade classic needs to be recharged next? And don't feel like you have to limit your answer to just Atari games, either. Personally speaking, I'd love to see some of the arcade racing games like Pole Position and Super Off-Road and Rally X. Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with an obscure episode of Game Over, as well as a feature looking at the good Electronic Arts games. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.